what's going on guys welcome back to another video today we are actually before we start the video make sure we pick up the fit lab shirt look at that it's on the website uh, fitlabs.com um, if you have any questions just let me know I will help you in that purchase um, okay so today what we have here in this box, right here, right here. Hmm. Zoom out. Oh, oh shit. A bug deflector. OEM bug deflector. For this is for the O1 because you can see where the headlight and the grill is. Yep, yep, yep. So my hood is a 98. This is a 98. It's straight, right? People that don't know the 98s are straight right here. And the O2, O1, O2 has a little notch right there. So I'm going to cheat. The hoods are expensive for these cars. And over here in California, we don't have a lot of Foresters in good shape. Look at my hood. Beat up. So we're going to put an O1. Big deflector and see how it sticks down sticks down right here it's gonna cover that let me 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 do this for you real quick I think it'll be easier if I put a headlight yeah my headlight here oh 102 headlight we'll be retrofitting that too See if I can do everything with one hand. Headlight. So you can see there's a curve here and this head goes straight. It's gonna cover that. The hood's not all the way down, of course, but let's see if it goes straight. There's a hood right there. Boom. It covers that little hole right there. So I'm gonna do that until I get an O1 hood. So let's get with the install. Let's see what we got in this box. Alright guys, this is what we got. Comes with the package. We got the instructions printed from Subaru. And then um, we got just alcohol pads to clean it up. Um, what are these called? Anti abrasion tape pads. So it prevents from scratching. And then you just got your screws and stuff. All right. Let's see if we can put this together real quick. Okay, number one. Read it. Number one and number two. Okay, number one and number two. Number one and number two. Like, these are awesome instructions. Like, I kind of understand it already. But it's like, if someone didn't really understand what's going on, um, I don't know if uh, they can complete it. <laughs> okay, number one, it looks like you read a comic book, and then you page one, and then page two. And I cleaned the car. My car, I washed it yesterday. Okay, 
so you wash okay if you were installing this you would wash your front of your hood so basically you just wash your car and you'll be cool okay number three um here we get this oh look this one's already done okay you get this um you screw in your little screws here with this little thing with two holes all right very very detailed instructions okay uh you put one and maybe two i i don't know i don't know i don't know number f okay so if you put a screw here on number three, number four, where does the screw go? Like, I don't understand. There's a screw here. Okay, number four. And this is not like 90 degrees. And then it's like this. But it doesn't show the screw on. It's just, it's, I don't know, it's super glued on there? Why, why, what, what's, I don't understand. Okay. Okay, we're gonna um, get another screw and then the washer. So we're gonna screw in um, this part with the visor so I get two washers in between okay that makes sense and then they want you to torque it five inch pounds and no um, third lock so I'm gonna do that right now and then uh, oh actually let's do the other side okay we got that part we got that part um got this. Oh wait, that's the wrong screw. Make sure you get the long screw in there. Oh. It's upside down. Okay, hold on. Okay, we got two of them. So let's get our visor. Screw these on. <sighs> Widen the shot. All right. My desk. Make sure your desk, your work area is clean beforehand not have pliers and stuff everywhere and tape that you have done and left from the previous job okay so you get the big that quality that pink quality let's see how does these male people do it focus no anyway you can see the the awesome paint quality that's not great at all but I'll probably repaint that or something I don't know all right so fiber washer and then um,
fiber washer and the fat washer, it says. So this fat washer right here. This thickums goes in there. That should hold on the other sides. And then we're gonna do the other side. We're gonna do fiber washer. Oh, don't scratch it. And then thick thickums. And then uh, screw this part on. Not the right screwdriver. Oh my god, there's too much paint inside the little area, so I can't screw it down. Seems like 11 pounds to me. Make a little bit of snug, not too tight, but snug. All right, all right, we're on number six. All right, we're gonna do number seven. So, number seven. We're gonna open the hood. Um, we're gonna put lines through the visor and then we're gonna look at the holes I think that's what this guy's doing this guy's looking at the holes so open your head and look at the holes and then Number eight, you do a pull up on your hood. I can't do that. I can't. I can't do a regular pull up. So um, I think I'm gonna skip number eight. All right. So my hood is up. So it says to look at the holes. Okay. Put my eye right there. Oh, dangerous. Look, I'm looking at the holes and then what oh pull up I'm not gonna do a pull up dude I'm gonna bent this thing okay that's number seven I I opened it I looked I looked I looked at the holes and um, yeah all right but seriously um, number seven I really don't know. Um, so, let's check this out. Um, uh, um, okay. Uh, I think we, okay, we put, we also look. I don't know. Anyways, let's finish this. Okay. So we put this on, and I think we, uh. We'll just, we'll just see what happens. We'll see what happens. I don't know.
Okay. I think I got it. Let's out real quick. Turn up the brightness on this. Okay, so. It seems like we need to. I still don't know. Okay. Seems like we have to uh, put these locks inside. Put these little squares right here. I mean rectangles inside, and then. Number nine, it looks like it says it turns it. So we gotta lock it in. And then uh, number 10, you have to look at stuff again, which is, I don't know what the hell's going on. But yeah, let's do that. So I'm gonna put these in here and I'm lock them in. Hopefully that works. I don't know, we'll see. Something like that. So, I put both of them in there. Um, I spaced them evenly with my two fingers like this. That's what she said. <laughs> and uh, I just tighten it and it squeezes uh, the metal, squeezes the hood together. And it's actually pretty sturdy. It's not moving sideways or anything. Um, I would think this rubber needs to go out here, so I might need to redo that. But now I know how to do this, I'll redo that and then, uh, well, it protects the paint from the inside because it's not rubbing up here. And I don't care if the bottom part is scratching, so I'll leave it like that. So. That is number, we just finished uh, 9 and 10. So it looks like you just look at the stuff and do nothing else. Do not scratch paint. You just stare at it. But yeah. But honestly, this is what you do. You just sandwich uh, the hood between those two metals. All right. Let's do <clears throat> Let's do 11. 11 and 12. What the hell is this shit? Um Like, shouldn't sh Okay. So, we have the... That friction pad and the alcohol pad. Shouldn't we prep the area first before we even install it? You know what I'm saying? Like, it looks like... It looks like the alcohol pad is here. So, it looks like we have to clean the area. Clean what area since we have everything on there. Since my hood is messed up, we're gonna skip that. Skip number 12. Skip number 13. Skip number 14. Uh, what? Number 15? Looks... Or is it, or is it? I'm trying to understand. Okay, hold on. Number eight, number seven, number eight. Number seven and number eight. It's the same as fifteen. Okay, we're in, we're in fifteen now. So that isn't that the same sh same shit. Well, 
like I did. Oh, it's under the car. Oh, shit. <sighs> Edit that out. Anyway, <sighs> garbage instruction. Okay, prep, prep, prep. Tighten, we're ready to tighten that. And then we're gonna do those little clips on the side. Little clips on the side. So, we're doing number 16. So we got these little clips right here. They're gonna go on this little piece right here. And then it's gonna clip on to the hood. So, so, we're gonna clip this bad boy. Oh, that worked a little bit. Okay, I can't do this one hand. I'll be right back. All right, all right. We got these little clips right here. It will click in once you hit the hear the click. It'll lock. That means it's locked in. And then down here, it will hook into the hood itself, so it doesn't. Fl all right, I got these clips on both sides. Focus, focus. There you go. So one clipping the top clipping to the visor or deflector whatever you want to call it and one clipping into the hood so sturdy 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 and other side and I forgot I I had a couple of washers left over and I found out where they go they go in so it's bolt, washer, and then thickums, and then to the bracket. So now, let's carefully, oh, I'm scared. Hopefully this falls. Now I need my front end. I need my headlights. Still looks like crap. So I don't have everything else. But to clean it, do not clean with soap and water only. Do not use any chemicals, no sponges or anything. Just wipe it down and hose it off. And try not to scratch it when you're removing this. Hey, it looks like it's scratched already. Yeah, there we go, guys. Now, next video, we'll be doing um, headlights. Because my grill will be coming in uh, tomorrow or... Wednesday. And then we're gonna put these corner lights on. Yay. So, next video, we're gonna get these retrofitted so we can have some lights. Um, I think I'm just gonna have one corner light or maybe put some uh, stock ones on for now. Cause I'm selling these. And my front end should be done. So, if you guys like that installation and maybe if you're installing a new one yourself and you're having a, troubles uh, reading the the eyeball instruction with the big eye like that so yeah let me know if you have any questions put it down in the comment section down below if you guys like the video hit that like new to the channel hit that sub button and don't forget to buy your fitted labs shirts man i got some uh forester ones too so check that out
All right, see you guys on. Bye, have a great time. Perfect. Perfect.